Attention, please. The show starts in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1.
Ayan ang pambansang awit ng Pilipinas. Ayang magiging tewas ng sinahanan Alam ng puso sa titik mo'y buhay Upang hinihang tuyan ka ng magiging Sa mandulupi, di ka pasisigil Sa nagatang tutok sa simoy at Ang ikaw pang raw ay hinagangkod lang Awit sa pagkaya minamahal Ang isang lang at awat mo'y tatumpay na nagtinitin Ang itubig at araw niya kailan pang ay di magtitinit Lumang ang araw na buwan at pagsigta Don't always on 
the Lord As we take the time He gives His perfect wisdom To be found in Him alone All our deepest secrets known we're surrounded by His grace when we seek His face in Your presence. There is comfort in Your presence. Education is a passport to the future. For tomorrow belongs to those who prepare for it today. Good morning, everyone. Today is our day, a very special day. Let us be merry and be happy because today we conquered the very first milestone in our young lives the kinder education in spite of this fearful covid-19 pandemic still we did it at last we are here today to celebrate joy and success mm -hmm. in behalf of the kinder completers batch of 2021 i would like to thank everyone behind our success and I welcome you all to this cultural moving up ceremony. Mabuhay! In my capacity as head teacher of Manukan East Central School, I have the honor to present to you 121 candidates for completion, of whom 64 are boys and 57 are girls, who have satisfactorily completed all the requirements as prescribed by the Department of Education under the K-12 Basic Education Curriculum. As the school principal of Manukan East Central School, I have the honor to certify the 121 kindergarten pupils candidates for completion who have satisfactorily completed the requirements prescribed by the Department of Education under the K-12 Basic Education Curriculum. Candidates, you have been proudly presented and recommended by your school head for moving up after you have successfully completed all the requirements of the curriculum 
as prescribed under the K-12 Basic Education Program of the Department of Education. And so by the authority vested upon me as Schools Division Superintendent of the Schools Division of Zamboanga del Norte, I now confirm you, completers in kindergarten of Zamboanga del Norte Schools Division for school year 2020-2021. Congratulations. Congratulations and well wishes to all our 2021 completers and graduates in all the public and private learning institutions of the province of Zamboanga del Norte. Completing your academic milieu is a great accomplishment and should be celebrated. This year has been like no other and your dedication and fortitude during this pandemic is much to be admired because the class of 2021 is the class that endured the most challenging of years, which you courageously persevered. You have accomplished so much while navigating the challenges of the new normal. Your hard work and resilience have been impressive, which concretized this year's graduation theme, strengthening quality education amid COVID-19 pandemic. In those days that you have been placed under the shelter of your homes and care and facilitation of your parents while learning independently through modules or through other modalities, many have become your champions and worked incessantly to ensure that education will continue for you. Seeing you graduate today is so assuring and fulfilling for your teachers, families, friends, local and national leaders, and other stakeholders. Your support groups have exemplified a nurturing leadership and have collaborated to surmount overall challenges during the chaotic time to provide for you the much needed resources that will enable you to realize your dreams, knowing that your dreams serve as your driving force to succeed in life. Yet dreams can only be meaningful when in it are embedded the dedication and commitment, a power that lead and power you to translate dreams into realities, the reconciling of intentions with actions to translate dreams into positive outcomes, the energizing of self with good vibes through prayer, empowering, encouraging and inspiring surrounding, the anchoring of pride and confidence and ensuring to be clothed with a grace born out of modesty and humbleness amidst successes and triumphs. The motivating and influencing others which elucidates leading and empowering people and serving God through His people that multiplies and spreads widely the gifts and talents as your important treasures and blessings. Graduates, we adults who have come ahead in life have already committed and dedicated our plans, actions, and resources, hopefully, to make abound the opportunities for you. On this special day commences your journey to another phase of your endeavor in life. You take on a more challenging role to play, and as you traverse the path, it is our prayer that your perseverance and strength carry you through all difficulties and adversities. We will be with you along the way and are already excited to see the positive changes that you will be making in the world we live in. Mabuhay and God bless, Class of 2021. Buenos dias a todos. Good morning, everyone. From the bottom of my heart 
and on behalf of the regional office, let me greet each and every one of you with this felicitation. Happy, happy graduation. There are three persons whom we dedicate this event. First and foremost, your parents. They have given you so much love and understanding even at this pandemic time. If there is that group of persons who are very happy for this accomplishment that you have in this COVID pandemic time, it's your parents. Despite the problems of limited access to an online modality of learning, they have given the necessary support, especially financial support. Even for those who cannot afford, parents have gone out of their way just to help you out. And through the years, from the beginning of your schooling, our parents, your parents, have always been there. In fact, in a classical way of saying, you have never become one without your parents. What you are today, it's all because of your parents. And so to the parents who are attending also the virtual graduation exercises, let me thank you and let me congratulate all of you for having done your best as parents. After all, the real jewels in our family are our children. What they have achieved today is actually a beacon to reckon with and that would be an accomplishment also for us as parents. The second group that we should acknowledge and give accolade is the group of our teachers. And so to our teachers, to your teachers, let me also congratulate and be grateful for that untiring support that you have given in this very challenging COVID pandemic time. We have limited resources, we have limited time and space, but you are true to the work of a teacher. Actually, the theme of strengthening quality education despite this COVID pandemic time rests on the shoulders of our teachers. And so we have tested you for your resilience, for your perseverance, and for your remarkable competency, especially in matters of adjusting the learning resources. And so to our teachers, again, DepEd Region 9 is very grateful for all the sacrifices that you have extended in the parlance of the theme of our 123rd Philippine Independence Day. You have, you have become our heroes because despite the time and the space, you continuously pursue the delivery of the self-learning modules or the so-called blended learning modality. And the last group, of course, is your very own selves, coupled with the support of our local government units, especially also the school administrators. Let me congratulate and thank all of you, especially the principals, who have done all a lot of things just to install and implement the basic learning continuity plan that we have installed for all our schools, even the private schools. And so today is a day of what we call a day of happiness, whether we like it or not. Let's all be cheerful that finally we have reached the end part, the finale of your learning for this school year, 2020-2021. Of course, we all know that this has been a very unique experience having adapted 
the so-called SLM, the self-learning modules, as a way of getting insights, knowledge, and developing our skills. There are a lot of problems that come our way, especially as we comply with the IETF health protocols, especially that there are a lot of restrictions in the part of our learners. But in totality, we've been true to our mantra that learning must continue. This has been the claimer of our secretary, that learning must continue. And so we did prove to ourselves and to the community that learning has continuously been pursued by all of us. And so for Gen X, Gen Y, the millennials, and your group, Gen Z, we really are very appreciative of that kind of effort that you have extended. There were cases that you have started to stop and be tempted to drop out, but because of the persistence of your parents, the dedication and the commitment of our school administrators and teachers, finally you decided that you should also continue. Indeed, you have continued. Thus, your graduation exercises today. And so to all of you, our warm congratulations and felicitations for having done a good job. And so to class 2021, a unique class of COVID era, may you have a positive outlook after this graduation exercises, as we welcome the next school year and as you welcome also the next set of challenges for your next ladder, next journey, as you want to put yourselves in that challenging part of educating yourselves and feeling accomplished, eventually being part of nation building. So to all of you, congratulations. To all of you who have proven that you are still very strong in mind and in spirit with a strong commitment to pursue quality education. Again, congratulations. Muchisimas gracias. Hasta la vista. Good day to each and everyone who is uh, attending virtually present at this time of our graduation ceremonies for our beloved and uh, very precious uh, graduates uh, for the school year which ends at this uh, time. First of all, I'd like to greet the parents and family members without whose sacrifices, whose uh, reminders, and whose participation in the learning process for our uh, graduates have resulted in this culmination uh, program. Uh, this year, your role has changed uh, drastically, where we've always thought We've always believed that the matter of educating our children rests nearly exclusively on our teachers and our staff. This time, you parents, you family members, you who are in the households of our learners have expanded your role and contributed to this wonderful day wherein finally, finally, our learners are graduating in this culmination exercise. So congratulations, because this year has not been very easy, has not been uh, 
a picnic for our teachers, for our family members, as well, uh, especially the parents, mothers, fathers, sisters, brothers, and all who have contributed to the uh, achievement of our learners at this time. So, maraming salamat at congratulations, parents and family members. Mas malaki ang role ninyo at this time compared to earlier graduation exercises. Secondly, I would also like to greet our teachers without whose very uh, careful uh, review and careful supervision of the work of our pupils and our learners this event would not have take would not be taking place um, at all and so thank you teachers your role has also expanded in addition to seeing to it that the modules are faithfully followed the assignments are correctly uh, implemented and the learners are truly learning and you have had to deal with new ways of assessing the performance also of the learners so congratulations teachers for enduring for your patience for your love for our learners and your willingness to engage in a way and methods of teaching which are different from those which are used to. Assessment must have been especially difficult for you, especially since you were not able to see most of the time our students in face-to-face -face, uh, meetings. And most of the meetings, of course, were virtual. We'd also like to thank the local government units for their interest, for their cooperation, and for their continuing, continuing uh, contributions to the needs of education, even as our children do not go to school. Your donations of material as well as financial resources at this time are most welcome and your advice has been taken seriously not only by our teachers by our school officials but also by our officials in the department of education we continually talk with local government units especially in times of disaster in times of great need for classrooms for space and for responses to unforeseen emergencies. Thank you, uh, local government uh, units. But of course, most of the congratulatory uh, greetings uh, fall on the deserving uh, graduate. Each and every one of you is truly special. You are different from the other graduates who have passed through the portals of your school. You went to school practically without seeing your teachers, if at all. You went to school with your parents, your mothers and your fathers hovering over your shoulders and seeing to it that you are able to complete your assignments. You are completing your studies at a time when examinations and assessments are different. You are culminating this uh, long months of, of hard work at this time, uh, even as you have to do family chores, even as you are distracted and even as your world has turned upside down and it seems and it appears as if we don't know what the future holds and what will happen next 
but you have persevered and now you are ready to graduate and therefore you deserve each and every bit of congratulations from us in the Department of Education, from your parents and family members, your teachers, from the officials in local government, as well as in the parent teachers associations. You deserve each and every single congratulatory pat on your back, each hug virtually, of course, and each greeting, which I am sure you are also receiving virtually. I don't know if uh, you will remember this event many, many years from now. I have tried to recall myself who our graduation speaker was when I finished high school and when I finished uh, my college studies. All I remember is that the graduation speaker was someone important, someone who was invited because that someone is supposed to give a message. What was more important to us graduates at that time was the excitement of the celebrations the happiness and the joy of our parents, the sadness of parting from our classmates and from our teachers, and the enjoyment of all the graduation events that usually take place come commencement day. When I was a college student, we had a series of events which were designed to uh, embed in our minds which were designed to help us remember and not forget our days in college. We would spend one whole day going around the campus, visiting the classrooms, saying goodbye to our teachers and sharing our memories. We would have bonfires to say goodbye to each other. We had baccalaureate services where we committed ourselves to God and we prayed for guidance when we go out into the world. So many celebrations and the speaker of course is the least important and easily forgotten component of the graduation um, exercise. Nonetheless, I will uh, exert all efforts to share with you what I see are things or issues which a graduate uh, should uh, remember and recall. I have said that you are very special. You are very different. You are pioneering. There has been no other class like your class. There has been no other graduate like you as a graduating student because you are the very first graduate of the blended learning response to education uh, in the Philippines. And so you ask yourself, what awaits you in the world outside? You can either work because the kind of curriculum you survived and under one as a student will enable you to go to work if you wish to go to work. Some of you will proceed to further studies and this would be a wonderful thing because there are many opportunities for further expanding your knowledge, for further answering and looking for explanations of issues, events that are that make you curious, especially in science, in technology, and also uh, in the arts. So you can work, you can go to further uh, studies, and 
perhaps some of you will settle down, uh, hopefully not too soon, so you can pursue what you really want to do. So today, this is why we call it, we call this exercise a commencement exercise. It's not the end of our studies. It's not the end of all our efforts with blended learning, with modules, with floods, with earthquakes, and of course with COVID. It's a commencement of doors opening to you. More doors will be open because you are a graduate. You can work, you can proceed for further studies, you can help your parents, and you can perhaps look for opportunities to do what you have always wanted to do, whether at work, whether at advanced studies, whether at learning more in science and technology, in mathematics and in the arts. All of these opportunities are available to you. More doors are being opened. I hope you will select the door which arouses your curiosity. The door which will help you know more about this world. And the door which will allow you to contribute to the development of our country. And contribute whatever we can to solve our problems and our challenges. Congratulations once more to each and every one of you. Congratulations to you, parents and family members. Congratulations to you, teachers. When I was chair of the board of Silliman University, each time we had graduation ceremonies, during the baccalaureate and during commencement itself, I would cry. I would cry because you are sending out into the world a new batch of, of graduates. And we want to be sure that what is awaiting them is appropriate. We want to be sure that they are ready for what awaits them when they select which door to open. And so, we tell you, go out to the world, do whatever you want to do. God be with you and be sure, be assured that all of us love each and every one of you. Congratulations. Adano Nino Mark B. Agustin Jose Josep P. Basalo Mateo V. Cadiente Janelle P. Cantila Mary June M. Cuenca, Idrik Joshua B. Bichardo, Edrian V. Daniega, Arwin T. Dinawanao, Fociano B. Diniay, Joshua A. Anna T R A 
Faustino John Paul D. On death, Bryce Kane Emery A. On death, Michael C. Joseph Charlie Kalani III D. Lumantau Jess Mateo T. Lonhas Ryle Neil G. Ochea Brian Josh J. Haderas Yes Alexi L. And Finita Liz J. Rico Hermoso, E.J. Uvillara, Daniel Clarence, L. Uvahan, Johnny Real, A. Loving, Joshua, R. Benya, Brian, B. Yes, Charlie G. Andy Crystal Jane G. Andy Loom Divine Mary. Aninion Margaret L. Andy Camara Precious Lizel D. Anyong Kezumi D. Tadiante Aika A. Dalugdog Rosalie E. Dangaton Chanel Phil B. Dishardo Laika A. The Nugget, Arialin B. The Nugget, Rexel Hart A. Feliciano, Rizel C. Gascon, Eriskea F. Herodias, Kenyea B. Ikilan Apple D. Atiko Samantha Mitch D. Elisha Leslie Jane M. Ogok Lovely Jane D. Orpes Yesha J. Orpes Una. Rosiana Tresha O. Sugano, Estelle Jane A. Tabarno, Cassie Lois J. Tampon, Alea C. Villacora, Saint Gabriel Venice A. Ivias, Kate Francis A. Abrinica John Carl L. Alberos Prince S. Bandokilio Jaden D. Barrios to be 
Willyard C. Basalan Prince Dave M. Bilingan Raymar C. Bellio Harvey C. Calabio Lance Andam. Katipay Dwight Andrew B. Dayanan Joshua R. Delatore Jasper S. Dumasapal Denmark P. Christian. Eroho Dave Colin S. Romanad Raytaniel. Romanad Jeremy D. Hatiko Gushigusher D. Lesondra Nasher B. Loperos Janelle S. Manulong Adrian B. Mengo Lady Von L. Moles Otolo R. On Yes Windell D. Ornopia John R. D. Inekes Kayan S. Ranong Kent Raven P. Rihidor Nico E. Revas Brian D. D. Santander Randell V. Tara Calmelo Nathaniel D. Sastre Kyle F. Solo Eldrick T. Sumiwan Hero B. Sumolong Kelvin S. Imanuno Alvin C. Rono Greenver E. Villarin Clint Simon B. Avria Glizel E. Alea Denise E. Alvarado Princess Divine A. Arombo Jairain L. Badlon Hanali D. Bellio Lea Jane T. Vindanilio Charel R. Bonghanoi Stephanie B. Kahigan Caitlin Isabel V. Kahukon Roslyn C. Laros Burmese Lynn. Sepeda, Precious Andrea I. Della Rosa, Stephanie P. Inawana, Kathleen F. Dinii, Rihanna A. Guerrero, Angeline O. 
Rumana Rani Car Rumana Drea May Laiosa Princess Claire F Maho Chelsea Blaze B Mete April on S Oxima Rekame T Swim Ashley R Refes Monica B Romende Abigail C Tarita Risha Jane S. Sumolong Taizi A. Suya Jasmine Keith M. Tomales Asia P. Tugahan Mariluan S. Malbuena Shane Alwyn B. In my capacity as the principal in charge of Manukan 1 District, Allow me to extend my heartfelt felicitations to our graduates and completers for the school year 2020-2021. This is the end of one significant chapter in your life and the beginning of another milestone gearing towards the attainment of your long cherished dreams. This occasion is always parallel to a celebration for a job well done. Together with the support of your parents and relatives, hardworking teachers, school heads, the community, and other stakeholders that are part and parcel of this long journey. This is always with a nostalgic emotion due to happiness for a successful year in school despite of the COVID-19 pandemic. It could also be yearning Maybe because you are now leaving your teachers and friends in school where enjoyable activities happen during your past years despite the COVID-19 threat. My dear graduates and completers, please be reminded that you will be embarking on a more challenging role as our country needs you to help solve these different challenges that we are now experiencing. With you is the yoke for the country's future, wherein it needs the collaboration of everybody. As our theme, strengthening quality education amidst COVID-19 pandemic, your knowledge, skills, and moral values that your teachers had strengthened, added with your prayer in your pocket, would be your guiding star in this journey. May you be determined to pursue your aspirations in life as well as your significant role in the community and our country. The future is bright and full of promises, but it always depends on the result of your honest and sincere intentions, constant efforts, wise decisions, and skillful execution of plans. Once again, my warmest congratulations to all of you. Good luck and always bear in mind and in hearts that hearing God's guidance through prayers, success is always at hand. Congratulations! i
Almighty Father, we thank you for this opportunity of being together and spend this joyous occasion with your blessings. We are extremely blessed, for despite the situation the world is currently experiencing, you are continuously supplying us with strength, inspiration, and wisdom to teach and touch lives. With your loving hands, you continue to encourage us to go on and do our best to be the source of strength and courage to our students. For in our strength alone, we can do nothing. Almighty God, we lift everything in your hands, our hope and dreams for the future, we trust in you. May you hear our prayers and lead us to do what is best for the children who are entrusted in our care. Above all, may you continue to bless each of us with good health and strength to carry our important task. May Jesus Christ serve as our inspiration and example of an untiring and devoted teacher. We ask all of this in Jesus' name. Amen.